Numerology and the Unconscious Mind, Carl Jung's Contribution. Hello again, brave explorers of the cosmos. It's me, Zoran, your trusty dragon guide, soaring through the mysteries of numbers, stars, and the universe. Today, we're going to delve into something truly magical, how numbers speak not only to the universe, but to our unconscious minds a journey that connects the ancient wisdom of Pythagoras to the groundbreaking insights of Carl Jung. Yes, numbers are not just symbols or patterns. They're deeply tied to our psyches, and Jung, the famed psychologist, understood this on a profound level. Let me take you on a story through time, weaving together the ideas of these two great minds Pythagoras and Jung, and how they explored the hidden truths behind numerology. The Path of Numbers from Pythagoras to Carl Jung you already know how Pythagoras believed that numbers were the foundation of the universe. For him, each number carried a certain energy, a vibration that shaped everything, from the stars in the sky to the lives of humans on earth. He discovered that numbers, especially in the form of numerology, could be used to understand our life paths, personalities, and destinies. But centuries lay, another visionary, Carl Jung, expanded this understanding. He believed that numbers didn't just explain the physical universe, they also revealed truths about the unconscious mind. Carl Jung and the mystical power of Numbershung was fascinated by the mysterious ways in which numbers seemed to show up in people's lives. He noticed something strange. Often, people would encounter certain numbers over and over again in moments of significance as if the numbers themselves were symbols of deeper meaning. This phenomenon, which Jung called synchronicity, suggested that numbers could act as signposts from the unconscious, guiding us toward self-awareness and inner transformation. One day, as I flew through the skies of the early 20th century, I saw Jung, sitting by a window in deep thought. He was reflecting on the role of numbers, wondering, why do people experience certain numbers in dreams or during important moments in life? Jung understood that numbers had power not just as logical concepts, but as archetypal symbols that connected the conscious mind to the unconscious. Archetypes and numbers. The language of the unconscious Jung introduced the idea of archetypes, universal symbols and patterns that exist in the collective unconscious, the part of the mind, we all share, deep beneath our individual experiences. Numbers, he realized, were a fundamental part of these archetypes. Just like a hero or a wise old figure might appear in dreams as archetypal symbols, so too, might certain numbers appear to represent profound truths. For example, you notice that the number 4 often symbolized wholeness and balance. In dreams, it appeared as squares, crosses, or mandalas shapes that represented harmony and the integration of the self. This was the number of completeness and stability, much like how Pythagoras saw the number 4 as the foundation of order in the universe. Numerology as a bridge to the unconscious norm. Imagine what happens when we look at numerology through Jung's eyes. Each number becomes not just a static representation of energy, but a living symbol that resonates with the deepest parts of who we are. When you calculate your life path number, your soul urge number, or even your personality number, you aren't just revealing mathematical truths, you're uncovering hidden messages from your unconscious mind. Let's take the life path number as an example. When you reduce your birth date to a single number, this isn't just a mathematical process. According to Jung's ideas, the number that emerges could reflect an archetypal journey that your unconscious mind has been preparing you for. Perhaps a life path number of three associated with creativity and self-expression appears because Deep inside, your unconscious mind knows that your true calling is to create, to communicate, to inspire others through your unique gifts. And let's not forget the number 7, number that both Pythagoras and Jung held in high regard. In numerology, it represents spirituality, introspection, and the search for truth. But in Jung's world, the number 7 could also represent the seeker archetype, the part of us that longs to understand the deeper mysteries of life. In dreams, the number seven might show up as seven steps, seven stars, or seven doors, each one inviting us to explore our inner worlds. Synchronicity and numerological patterns One of Jung's greatest contributions was the idea of synchronicity, 
a concept that describes meaningful coincidences that seem to defy explanation. These moments aren't just random, they're signs that our conscious and unconscious minds are working together, aligning with the universe to show us something important. And guess what? Numbers play a key role in these moments. Imagine a person repeatedly seeing the number 11 during pivotal moments in life on clocks, receipts, or even in dreams. According to Jung, this isn't just coincidence. The number 11 might symbolize a moment of transition or awakening, nudging the person to pay attention to their spiritual path. In numerology, the number 11 is considered a master number, representing intuition, insight, and spiritual enlightenment. Could this recurring number be a message from the unconscious, guiding the person toward a deeper understanding of themselves? Dreams, symbols, and numerologinal. Let's bring it all together. As I sort through the dreamscapes of humanity, I often watch people encounter numbers in their dreams, each one carrying a message from their unconscious mind. In one dream, a young woman might see three golden coins, a symbol of creative potential waiting to be realized. In another dream, a man might find himself walking through a series of five gates, representing the challenges he must overcome to achieve freedom. Jung would have seen these dreams as opportunities for growth and self-discovery. He believed that by paying attention to the numbers in our dreams, we could unlock insights into our lives that we might not otherwise see. Combined with numerology, these numbers become even more powerful, offering a roadmap to self-awareness, personal growth, and spiritual fulfillment. The cosmic connection, numerology and the universius, we journey through numerology and the world of Carl Jung. Remember this, numbers are more than just tools for understanding the outer world, they are bridges to our inner selves. Whether we encounter numbers in daily life, in dreams, or through synchronicity, each one carries a message that can guide us toward greater self-understanding. Pythagoras gave us the tools to explore the universe through numbers, and Jung showed us that these same numbers resonate within the depths of our unconscious minds. Together, they remind us that the cosmos isn't just out there, it's also within us. And through numerology, we can navigate both worlds, discovering the profound connections between the stars and our souls. Conclusion, a journey into the soul and the star so. Fellow travelers, as you continue on your journey through math and the universe, don't forget the power of numbers. They speak to the stars, and they speak to your soul. Each number you encounter, whether through numerology or in the depths of your dreams, has the potential to reveal truths about who you are and where you're going. The next time you calculate your life path number or see a number repeat in your life, ask yourself, what message is the universe and my unconscious mind trying to send me? Numbers are the key to unlocking the mysteries of both the external and internal worlds. And I, Zoran, will be here to guide you every step of the way. Until our next adventure through the cosmos, keep your eyes on the stars and the numbers that guide you.